think we roll, throw your hands up. People outside up in your eyes, turn this damn up. Our stars are legendary. The hottest yet the century is live wire. What's good? What's good? Whoa, Wednesday. Whoa, Wednesday. Ah, what's good, Ray? Hey. What's going down, world? What's happening? Another fantastic Whoa, Wednesday. Boom, boom, boom. And today's special guest celebrity, we have Jimmy Kang. Jimmy That's Kang. right. Jimmy Kang. Wu Tang Management, straight up entertainment, Mr. 101 Cannabis. Uh huh, and he is right on time. And he's on time. He's prompt. I ain't even got to watch, but he's prompt. Yes, we are live on Facebook, So Serious TV, and uh, YouTube. Like, share, follow, subscribe. Like, share, follow, and subscribe. It's Woo Wednesday. It's Woo Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. And we're going live with Jimmy Kang. Jimmy Kang is up in the building. Yep. He got a whole lot of stuff going down for y'all. Oh, there he is. Jimmy. Hey, look, 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 We up in the building. We up in the building. It's Woo Wednesday. Woo Wednesday. Hold the presses, y'all. Hold the presses. It's Woo Wednesday. And we have Mr. Jimmy Kang up in the building. Uh -huh. Woo Tang Management up in the building. Uh -huh. Straight up entertainment up in the building. Mr. 101 Cannabis. This Jimmy Kang yeah. is up in the building. Yeah, oh, give it up, give it up, give it up. up. Bring up. That was the hook. Yeah. Ah. There we go, there we go, there we go. What's going down, Jimmy? Oh man, you know, just grinding away right now. You know, we just got done um, putting the label together right now, putting everything in line. With Livewire coming in too, you know, helping the situation out, you know, oh, yeah. mad love. We yeah. just, um, you know, have people in our label right now where it's popping. We got, um, we signed, um, you know, Capadonna's GLF. We signed um, Keith Murray's Ghetto Mogo, um, okay. Corrupt's, Corrupt's label, Roscoe's label from Dog Pound. Okay. Um, we signed mm -hmm. signing Onyx's label. Okay. Uh, we're getting, um, uh, Rasby from B2K. We also got, you know, um, Big Nate All Star. That's with Wu Tang Management. Uh, we got Draymond that said People's Choice um, 2021. We got him in the roster. You know, okay. we got a lot of exciting things happening in this set. Yeah. My storm. Did you hear the name? Yes, I did. That's what I'm saying. Keith like, Murray. Keith Murray. Capadon. Roscoe. Roscoe. Big Nate All Star. Corrupt. Corrupt. DPG. Woo! And the, and the he even digged in the back and got a little bit of R and D for the ladies. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He East Coast and West Coast then. Yeah, check Jimmy <laughs> out. No, no, no. I grew that's up the, in the West Coast of Torrance and then moved out to the East Coast. So you know, I got to bring it back and forth. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Are you making with that thing? Yeah. We're getting some artists from the Midwest and everything right now too to put yeah. everything together and line it up. Okay, Ooh. okay. International player from yeah. the Himalayas. Yeah, player, player. <laughs> yeah, it's Jimmy. Jimmy. Yeah, man, Jimmy Kane. So talking about Jimmy Kane. Yeah, Mr. Uh, 101 Cannabis. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Talk about that straight up entertainment. That's what he, that's what he's doing. Yeah, you know, straight up entertainment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check it out on www.str, the number eight, UPENT.com. Check the roster out. We got a great roster, you know, great staff. We're putting this thing together. So we like the next new wave coming through. Yeah, you know, I'm working good. with the legacy artists to um, bring homage to the game and bringing some young artists. But pretty soon, we're going to find the real young artist that's popping in the country that's right and straight up where we're going to be pushing them next. Woo! Yeah, he's he grabbing getting everybody. He getting it. Everybody underneath the umbrella because it's raining. Yeah. It's raining block. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> we also we also we also signed Protect Your Neck um, records. Okay. So, you know, 
so the whole that's the neck that. going through us too. So we're running right. So it's all the Wu Tang branch. Mm -hmm. Continuation, the swarm continues. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So you're yeah. dealing with the legacy artists like you mentioned, and also you grabbing the up and coming artist that has a buzz, right? That's right. And all that right now. It. Y'all hear from Jimmy K. That that's right. Team. Yes. Now, Jimmy, this is very important for those artists that's tuned in and they listening. Everybody wants to be a part of the movement. Many are called, four are chosen. Mm -hmm. How are you selecting your MCs to be under your branch? First of all, they got to be chosen, like you said. The thing that I look for is a, is a team of people around that artist, so they're already doing what they're supposed to mm. making sure that you know they're rocking right and then i used to go check them out you know for like a couple two three days to see how they roll if they're talking blah 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 i want to go see their blah 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 whatever they're talking about yeah so i do that to make sure you know they're talking about rapping about or singing about what they're living their lifestyle okay. everything and i look for guys with budgets because without a budget you can't market yourself the number one okay. thing in this whole game is marketing you know, Boom. like um, like you, Livewire, a lot of people don't know, you know, you'd be putting people on the billboard charts and everything, you know? Thank and you, man. You know, and that's a blessing, you know, to, to have someone like you in, in this level of the game putting people on, you know? And man. a lot of people don't appreciate that. Someone like me, I really appreciate stuff like that because being in the music game, it's hard. It's hard for people to get to a certain level of the game. And even where I am in life, you know, we're doing our things and people are like, damn, Jimmy, you make everything so, look so easy. Nah, but I'm in the <laughs> office from the start yeah. all the way until sometimes like 11 at night, just grinding. Yeah, you always grinding. If always people grinding. are tuned in online, y'all see Jimmy doing his thing. Mm -hmm. When you see that Wu-Tang, you see that Vega Dawn, you see all of them, that's underneath Jimmy Kane's umbrella. Mm -hmm. He's responsible for that stuff. And me. Yeah, 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 and me too, yeah. So y'all see all the movements uh -huh. coming all around the board, yep. and y'all see this is the man that's responsible for making it happen. That's right. So that's what's yeah. up, salute to Jimmy. Also, salute on the new deal with Sony Orchard. Uh, you already know, you know, Sony Orchard, you know, blessed me with a nice 80-20 deal so I could give artists 50-50, and that's what I've been doing, and it's been lovely. That's and you know, Nas, Nas just signed his label Mass Appeal to Sony Orchard like four days ago. Okay. So Salute to Nas. Sony Orchard. Salute to Nas. You know, yeah, he got that single out, know, spicy. You know, uh -huh. And and, and just to see someone like Nas signed to Sony Orchard is a great thing because you know I signed um, I signed six months ago with this vision and this dream dream that I had to put everything together. And it's all coming through. And to see other artists like even Griselda Records, you know, they're putting their stuff through Sony Orchard right now. A lot of people independently are putting things through Sony Orchard. And I got the first wave, you know? That's so right. right now, yeah. I'm already in the system putting things yeah. together where it's the leader on the path. Yeah. He on his mogul. He's on his grizzly. <laughs> Yeah, he's grinding. No sleep. Team, no sleep. That's what's up. That's yeah. what's up. Yeah, now, now, you know, I want to hear about the raindrops, uh, the black ice. Oh, uh, yeah. So, or, yeah, so, yeah, I'm on you about that so, one. So, so I got to show love to my people, the OGs in Boston. You know, every time I talk about them, the ice and everyone, the, everyone in Boston is like, yo, Jimmy, you know, back in the days, those are the OGs, like, yeah. of Boston, yeah. like, people yeah. doing it. And I'm yeah. like, Oh, okay. Because I didn't know they're so nice, you know. They're like, hey. <laughs> I'm like, okay, what's up, you know? Yeah. And, uh, you know, everyone's telling me, yo, those are like the official OGs and everything. And those guys started a distribution company with um Raindrop Liquors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now they're meeting. They were meeting everyone, and the crazy thing is, after knowing them for like six months, they came up to me and gave me a 50-50 deal. I'm going 50-50 with them on their company. Hey, wow! Hey, and that's that Black Ice! Congratulations! Yeah, congrats, Give it up for Jimmy got, King and that Black Ice! Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah! I'm like, glad you, share, so glad. follow, and most of all, go buy Black so Ice! Got, yeah. We got Jimmy's Black on the bottle as well. Hey. We, got, we got vodka coming out. Mm -hmm. We got the we got the uh, hemp flavored vodka coming out. Uh -huh. uh, 
We got tequila coming out, and we got cognac coming out where we're going to call it cognac. Okay. Candy Candy I, like yeah. I like the twist. I like Candy the twist yeah. on it. Yeah, that's what's happening. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's what's up. Well, you know, so that vodka that I just seen, uh -huh. that clear, uh -huh. I believe you did say is hemp. So hemp means a part of the cannabis. Is it good for relaxing the muscles? Uh get you uh twisted at the Ooh, same time? Oh, that's see nice. Him. Ooh, see him. Yeah. Flavored vodka, oh, cannabis, sativa. Uh-huh. Ooh. Yeah, I, need, I need that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That sounds just about right right now. Lunchtime yeah, too. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Cannabis and vodka. Oh, yeah. That's oh, what a hell of a mix. Uh -huh. And also, you know, um, Capadonna just got a deal uh, with his own strain from Resonate out here called Gasadonna. Okay. Gasadonna. Oh, that's wow. Good. Now, that's do you call okay. out. What's the strains mixed with? I can't tell you. Uh, oh, so that, that right there is the that was close. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get that from Cat. That's okay. We can wait on that one. Yeah, and then and then uh the owner of Resonate, Pete and I, we're opening up a um management strain um company where strain management company where we're gonna set up um strains for special artists and manage their strains so we could put that everywhere once everything goes federally legal. Oh, that's wow. happening. Well, we're going to raise our hand for that. Yeah, you are. Because we know. definitely need the liquor. We need the marijuana. You know, we need to be in the hood like our music is. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah, right. That's right. right. <laughs> definitely. definitely. You know? definitely. Yeah, you know. So, oh, yeah. Go, 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 oh, I was first. just saying, you know, we're going to hook up with you on all of that. You know, we're going to put our, our uh, five cents in. And we got five. <laughs> oh, <on yeah>. <laughs> I got okay. five. Let's get paid. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, so after we all said it done, get with us in, the, in each individual project so we can kind of budget what we're going to do. Yeah. With, uh, you know, Put our dollars together. You know, you know. Make it happen. Absolutely. You know, no now, team, let's team talk teamwork about... Makes the dream work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Teamwork, teamwork makes, makes, makes the dream work. work. Definitely right definitely. on point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now let's talk about uh, the people that's been in my inbox. They've been watching you and you've been from... Boston to California, back and forth in the studio. We seen Roscoe. We also been hearing that uh, Keith Murray done completed his album and is ready for release. Yeah. We also know that Big Nate completed his videos. We seen him in the desert with the big fights doing yeah. the big boy style. Right. You right. know, and, uh, get it off the shoe box. Uh -huh. Still we get it off the shoe box. Has yeah. completed not one but multiple projects. Absolutely. Yeah. So now, so now what we're doing right now, what I did was with all the people on the label, I kept bringing them together in a great place. Uh, we got a nice studio out in Vegas over there that we uh -oh. go to. And um, great place for everyone to go to is Vegas because you say, yo, come to Massachusetts. They're like, eh. Yeah. New York. And the West, West Coast people are like, eh. Yeah. And then the East Coast people are like, eh. So I'm yeah. like, come to Vegas. Everyone's like, yo, I'm there tomorrow. Yeah, I'm there. <laughs> so we go there. We go there. And it's a nice atmosphere. But we don't even really get to enjoy Vegas because we just go straight to the studio for the whole day. I'm, I put everyone together. So everyone is doing tracks with each other. So like someone like Big Nate or Draymond that you saw on the desert video. And Draymond's the um, Sources Magazine, People's Choice 2021. So we put them together. Um, we put all of them to do tracks with um, Keith Murray. Um, you know, Capadonna, Inspector Deck, Corrupt, Roscoe, you know, and what ends up happening is while everyone's together, they make organic music. So now yeah. Cap has tracks with Keith Murray, Corrupt, Roscoe, all of them, same wise. They all have music together right now. That's and cool. the best thing was doing the um, verses, Method Man at Red Man versus, where, where right after we got done with Vegas, um, like a couple of days later, we had to go to that thing. And, um, that Keith Murray was over there for Red Man. You know, Red Man was saying, yo, I want to do tracks with Corrupt and Daz, you know, and then yeah, Met yeah. The, and then, you know, Capadonna was behind behind, you know, Met the Man, and Deck was behind Met the Man, you know, and Rizzo was behind Met the Man. But you know, and the next thing that happens is Met the Man grabs Capadonna and says, Yo, if it wasn't for Capadonna, I wouldn't be rapping. If it wasn't Capadonna, I would have stopped rapping. And he goes, Capadonna put 50% of Staten Island on that people don't even understand. 
So now doing that right there, already Capadonna that's in the label already mentioned, Keith Murray that's in the label already mentioned, and Corrupt that's in the label already mentioned, right? Doing that yeah. cipher. Yeah. So people Ooh. understand the movement. And they, are, and they got tracks together now. Oh! That's dope. I can't oh, wait to hear it. Like, it's going to be yeah. trouble. Oh, oh man. You don't understand. <laughs> you don't understand what we were going to do. Man, that concert is going to be lit. Yeah, the concert is going to be off the... Ooh! I can't even come up with the worst. West Coast to the East Coast. We've been yeah, cooking. that's what's yes, up. That's what's up. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. It's going down. Yeah, and we and are... You know, I want to I wanna bang out my label with legacy artists to show homage to the game. Yeah, yes, yes, cool. you you picked the right uh, artists, man. The right shooters, lyrical assassins, people Absolutely. that got character. It's not only about music; it's about helping and keeping God first. Mm -hmm. And all the That's artists right. that you named is like diamonds in a the rough. They all came from a rough spot and kind of shined to be that Pacific diamond that the people love to hear, the people love to see. They'll buy tickets to come out to see them. Yeah. Now all of them together, we're going to be doing Ooh. a tour. We're going to set that up. Now that, that's going to be pretty simple, you know? Yeah. I yeah. Can. yeah. That'll wait. That's sold out. Hot. Yeah, sold out. I'm so and then excited. Add, and then adding Onyx to it with that energy, that's going to be crazy. Yeah. Fledro Sticky, yeah. Yes, and you already know. DJ Livewire. You already Ryan know, Jackson. you already know. We it's gonna be up in the field. Super lit. We gonna be tearing it down, we gonna be tearing oh, yeah. it down. Oh yeah, Livewire coming on tour uh -huh. too. You already know. You already know. Coming with that DJ Livewire money in the grave. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. people don't know that you're an artist yourself. Oh. Ah. That's what's up. Yep. That's what's yep. up. It's going down. Yep. Uh -huh. it's, it's going down, man. Right it's going down. It's, it's going Wu down. Wednesday. We got Jimmy Kang up in the building. Wu Tang slow. management. Straight up entertainment head man. One on one cannabis. Tell a friend to tell a friend. It's the mighty, mighty wires. Yep. So serious TV. And we got Jimmy Kang. Yeah. Yeah, y'all tap in. We're live and direct everywhere. Apple Music, Apple Podcasts, we're on Pandora, we're on uh, Spotify, we're everywhere. Like, so, share, follow. Like, share, follow. And don't forget yeah. to subscribe. So, and so subscribe you know, and hit that been, notification button. It's been dope. This journey's been awesome. You know, been blessed by Mook back in the days. Um, yeah, actually, right? like, actually, Rizza and Divine, I met them first, and then they introduced me to Mook um, and put me in a management position where after a couple of years, they put me as the VP and been doing that for a long time now. I can't even imagine how many years. It's been like over a decade. <laughs> uh, so hold, hold on. It's That's funny that you mentioned that because I didn't know whether to mention it or not. Mm -hmm. But didn't you come from the camp with, um, what's his name? What's his name? Crumb Snatcher. That's my brother in my heart. That's right. Crumb Snatcher. No, Everybody no, no. knows in the hip hop community how nasty Crumb Snatcher is and how helpful he has been and still is to a and lot of people. That's why we bring him. He's in our label too. I'm going to help the Wolves out. Warriors organizing. Because, wow. you know, I created that with Crumb. You know, I'm the co founder of Wolves and Crumb was doing all that. That was back in, that's like 20s. That's, yeah, that's a long time ago. Yeah, that's no hip hop. No hip hop. Right. So, um, you know, Crumb, you know, Crumb's, Crumb's my heart and my man. So, you know, we started off, started off doing his stuff to, you know, Ed OG, Jason and Slain stuff with special teams and, you know, started evolving from there. But yeah, Crumb Snatcher, Crumb Snatcher, actually, when I was with them, we were running with Gangstar. Guru that's was right. They're running with Guru everywhere, premiere. That's with, right. Around, but Guru used to come to my spot and chill all the time and, you know, kick it. You know, he was he was a very, very nice dude, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's so you've been in the game. I ask you that because of your longevity, mm -hmm. right? And hip-hop has changed in a lot of ways because hip-hop is a culture. It's a movement. It's a spiritual thing, not just music. Uh, during this transformation and you're elevating yourself, dealing with COVID-19, uh, the music changing, how are you able to stay above the water and so, be in a position right now to lead the pack? 
So what I did was um, I stayed independent the whole time. I had offers long time ago for my label, from Universal, from Atlantic to different things. And I just stayed independent. So the craziest thing is, um, you know, once I got with the Wu, we were just focused on Wu Tang's business plus, um, you know, create, creating Protect Your Neck Records, Protect Your Neck Distribution to Wu World Radio to Wu Worldwide DJ Coalition. And along with working with the whole management of Wu Tang Clan to make sure the tour dates are right, everything, you know, travel dates to focusing on also Capadonna's personal manager. So doing his personal business management duties with the clan and then also working for Mook, you know, for the CEO of Wu Tang Management, putting everything together. You know, he blessed me with a position where he just told me, Jimmy, run that shit and do what you got to do. So I've been putting a lot of bright, geniuses together in the team you know and it's been working you know? you've been doing a great job yep. great yeah, job you. got the woo radio up and running that's in va right. as well right. how can the artist that's trying to get on woo radio how can they make that happen they could go to wooworldradio.com and, and submit themselves to everything and find out who the what I would do is I would find out, go in there and find out who the DJs are and start reaching out to the DJs themselves. Ah! People, don't, people don't understand the DJs are the ones that make and break the records. Yep. See, see, back. see, I knew Jimmy had all the answers. Yep. I knew he had all the answers. <laughs> Respect the DJs. Respect the DJs. Always. Was, it's always been like that. that. And people, people overlook it, but in reality, they're the ones that make it happen. Yeah, 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 facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. That's fact. Um, shout out, special shout out to D Bugs. Big shout out to D Bugs. Yeah. yeah. D-Bugs. Yo, let me tell you something about D Bugs. <laughs> is very persistent. Oh, he's been my with for a long time because he's part of the family. Yes. Following nonstop, like he will, he'll keep calling until you pick up the phone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hello? Hello? That's how, that's how D Boog's been getting by and making everything happen. Very yeah. persistent. And yeah. salute to him. Now he's in a bigger and better position and doing his thing, you know. Yeah. And he's also signed to uh, Protect Your Neck Management right now. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. boom, boom. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Shout out to D Boog's. Wings you know, up. Buzz, I would have yeah. never met you. You already yeah. know, right? Yes, definitely. Yeah, D Bug's a great man right there. You know, yeah. like I said, very persistent. A lot of people, a lot of people think just because you're a nephew of this person from the Wu Tang or son of this person from the Wu Tang, like it's easy. Nah, it's actually extra hard for them. It make it because now they have something to prove. And if they're whack, they're just gonna people are just gonna say, nah, you're whack. Like yeah. we ain't fucking with you. It doesn't matter who you are because yeah. now they have to be hard because they're expecting them to be better than their fathers and their uncles and their nephews. Yeah. Like generations, you're supposed to evolve and be better. Yep, yep. Right? Well, it seems yeah. like it's in the blood it's that you mentioned that, that yeah. because it's real simple for them to do it. Yeah, because they are doing it. Look yeah. at GP yeah. Wu. GP Wu uh -huh. done dropped. And look, lyrical, right. lyrical. Yeah, yep. by the parks. Anything That's underneath that Wu uh, banner, you are ready. Is it you? You cannot make an MC. It's already in their blood. And if you That's come right. underneath that branch or, of the Wu you know Tang, it's I'll tell you there, baby. The, I'll tell you why. That's the truth. Or I'll be an MC too. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> That's out of my blood, you know? <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> you already know. Yeah, that's that. Big shout out to YDD, that's that. uh -huh. also Weather Parks as well, yep, ODPC, yes. uh -huh. you know. Yep, you, you already, Core, you know, Core doing his thing hard, you know. Core, Core's been producing a lot of things for the Wu Tang um, albums and doing a lot of things for the um, TV shows for Wu Tang and all the documentary for Wu Tang that Mike Samen Wu Tang core okay. did some production yeah. on that. Okay. Mm. Along, along with um the Wu Tang saga that core did some production on that. You know, that's okay. Riz's nephew too. And you know, he's yeah. part of the label yeah. as a producer. He's also an artist, but right now focusing on producing, I'm producing. You know, putting his a lot of work in. He's under the straight up banner too right now. Oh, oh that's, that's dope. dope. That's dope. Yeah. Well if you've seen, you know, on, on our uh, YouTube 
YouTube page, the Climax Corporation um, on YouTube, right? Or you can see all the Wednesday interviews that we've done. And if you see anybody that we're missing or, or whatever, just tap in with us. So yeah, tell them. We yeah. missing yeah, we're gonna get We're going to get Capadonna for next Wednesday for you guys. Oh! He season two! He season two! Whoa, Wednesday, Capadonna! <laughs> yeah! yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's what's up, Capadonna next week. Y'all heard it here. Y'all make sure y'all tap in, like, share, follow, subscribe. Subscribe. Absolutely. You know, we it's put that going on. down. Jimmy Kang. Jimmy Kang is in, in the, the building. In the building, and I'm feeling myself. <laughs> right. That's what it is. <laughs> it's going down. So I know you had Cannabis 101 today. For those yep. who didn't tap in, can you uh, give them a little sample of why they should tap in for your next episode of 101 right. Cannabis? So Cannabis 101, I have co-host um, Jennifer Gaskin and and Lauren Prey, and they're in the cannabis world also. And what we do in Cannabis 101 is we bring owners of cannabis dispensaries or owners of CBD CBD stores, and we interview them and we show them the, show them the product and we tell everyone what's what and what's there to do with cannabis. We talk about cannabis laws. We talk about... Um, uh, we talk about economic empowerment so the urban people could get their license. The urban people could go become a run the delivery service, mm -hmm. you know, off the back because the cannabis, um, wherever it opens up, the people that started cannabis from California to Colorado that made a lot of money already, they're bringing it into the other states and opening it up for themselves in a corporation. Uh, mm, so what, that's so what ends up happening is that no one really gets a chance to go in against these guys that are already multi-millionaires that already got dispensaries in California and um, Colorado. Right. So when in Massachusetts, we try to, op a lot of people try to open it, but then these co big corporations from out of state came in and, you know, started buying they do what it. what so they normally do. Uh -huh. So Massachusetts <laughs> made a law for two years that they couldn't um, open up a corporation from another state. So what they did was they started hiring people in the state that lives here and partnered up with them and let them run it mm. so and what ends up happening is that leaves out the urban culture and urban people because we don't have the money to do that as multi-millionaires that started from the west coast that right. already had that right. so now with the economic empowerment you could go get as an urban person you could go get the economic empowerment license and now a, now a company has to actually go through you so you could become their partner wow like hey, that's another jewel yeah jewel number two that's jewel number two how no. uh like like if you want to get into this business how much of an investment do you think like initially as an urban with company? the economic empowerment to go get your license all you have to be is colored Oh, oh yes. wow. We passed that. We passed that. <laughs> White and, colors. And colors. <laughs> and, and you had to have been in trouble with marijuana before. Oh, damn. Oh, okay. That That's me. <laughs> exactly. Oh, okay. that, right That's there, me. Right there, that qualifies you to go get an economic empowerment um, license and then now a company will come into your state when your state's legal and ask to join up with you so they could get their license. Well, we're in California, so it's, it's already right. legal. Oh, you're in California, so mm. kind of hard. Yeah, I need yeah, to go yeah. find another yeah. house. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, we go we buy a house. Yeah, or, Pennsylvania, uh, somewhere yeah. Commonwealth. That's yeah, true. but for other people that's listening, you know, that's what they could do. Um, yeah. It's a it's a great program because. What they wanted was, um, what they really wanted was 10% to be, 10% um, of the dispensaries to be owned by urban, urban or colored, you know, just like Asians, Black, Spanish. Um, yeah. But that's not the case. It's all, it's like 1% everywhere. Yeah. So now, they, so now they made it so that we could, you guys could go get, um, all of us could get economic empowerment. Only if you got in trouble with uh, marijuana before in the past, you know, go okay. get your economic empowerment license. And then from then on, you could actually find well people will actually start looking for you it, once you have oh, that okay that's cool. that's cool and i heard you say we i know you're a brother from another mother i got that you are right <laughs> <laughs> it's jimmy it's jimmy k so what about 
what about in New York? Like it, you know, it's a, it's not because I know same thing. Not, same thing. Yeah, so, that's that's but, what a lot of people. But New lot York lot people, is doing it now where it's uh recreational as well as municipal, right? Every, uh, everywhere, and everything. Everywhere it's gonna be recreational soon, and soon it's gonna be federal. So you want to prepare everything and get all your marketing and get it, all your products and everything done and ready and legalize all your whatever you're doing. That yeah. way, once it goes federal, you could put it out everywhere across the country. Oh, that's mm. that's, mm. that's yeah. Now, here goes a question <laughs> for the underdogs. You know, the street seller, the street supplier. Do you think they're almost out the window? Time is no. up? No, no. They're actually going to be upping everything. Because if mm. you go to the dispensary and buy an eighth, you're going to pay like 75 bucks an eighth with taxes. On the streets, it's $25 to 40 bucks an eighth. Now, the street dealers are going to be like 40 to 50. Ooh. Ooh. In the beginning, it's going to hurt the street dealers because of the fact that everyone's like, oh, I'm going to the dispensary. Oh, I'm going to the dispensary. After a while, they're going to realize, yeah, we're just paying like $40, $40 $30 extra for an eighth for no reason. For nothing. For yeah. Nothing. But people don't understand dispensaries make sure, you know, um, they get tested to make sure everything is clean. There's nothing bad. You know, that's the good part about a dispensary. But if you, you know, the grower and stuff that that's doing it, then you know what they put in, you find the right ones and you, you stick with that one. That way you're not smoking some garbage that people put additives and stuff. You, you want that's your stuff right. to be organic and nice. You want it yeah. to be fresh. Play. Protect your neck. That's the key. Protect your neck. Yeah, stay safe. Go to dispensary and get it the right way. You don't want that wacky weed where you take (laughs) one puff and you're never the same. (laughs) Oh, Lord. Yeah, I mean, they got weed out there like that. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Yeah, they got some cake, too. Some spice that looks like marijuana. They be selling that CBD as marijuana. Correct, because it looks the same. It looks the same. Yeah, it looks the same. And if you're moving fast and you go spend $50, $60 for some CBD, you're going to be mad by the time you jump in that car and roll that up. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So what's the names of the brand of your cannabis that you got in dispensaries right now that people should go buy? Well, Gastadano is going to be coming out soon, but um, it depends. Like a lot of people like, they like the, you know, the, the, OGs, so OGs are always good regardless, you know. Um, yeah. But like, some people like gelatos, ice cream, Skittles, you know, different things. A lot of people like the indica. I like the sativa. Yeah, you know? yeah me too. I smoke pain. the sativa, like, like I just smoke doing this thing. You know, keeps me up, keeps me right, get my mind focused. You know. I'll roll another one for you guys. <laughs> it's Jimmy. You know, yeah, that's what that's that's what I like. I like I like to um play as a sativa during the day. It keeps me working. And then late, late night, if I can't go to sleep, smoke the indica. Makes me yeah, want to sleep. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, we know that you work around the clock. Constantly, mm-hmm. very consistent. Mm-hmm. We yeah. all want to know What's what is your five year goal? Oh, my five year goal, man. I'm going to tell you this, right? I think within five years, I'm going to have one of the biggest record labels in the world. Dope. That's dope. Yeah, you're doing it. That's yeah. dope. That's so dope. there is no quitting, no stopping, strictly elevations. Oh, one more other thing, Jimmy. Yep. We think the big studio. Uh-huh. Yeah, mm. the movie mm-hmm. studio. Yeah. That's right. Tell that's the people right. about that. All right. So that's in Long Beach. That's in Long Beach. And um pro and I, I'm in the board of directors with Probus that, that okay. does all the that does all the work in there and everything for Thunder Studios. So Thunder Studios been there forever. Um, Probus got in there and they started working the whole system and once they met me they put me as one of the board that's one of the reasons I'm going to LA all the time to put things together Um, we're working on Floyd Mayweather's um, campaign right now Uh, we're going to be working on something with Roy Jones because you know we got some meetings with them and along along with that right now you know with all the artists we got and every all the movement we got, and now the whole country is opening up. We're gonna be setting up tours and making sure everything's right. Woo! 
That's the subject. And then his mom said, hey, why the <laughs> That's how bosses do it. You know, you know. <laughs> did you, have you uh, connected with Freeway Ricky Ross yet? Um, I did a long time ago when he got out of jail, but I hit him up. Yeah, he just now, we just did an interview with him and he's working, he got a boxer out there. He's, he's, he, I think they just fought in Florida and, you know, he out here on the West Coast and looking to get in some, some stuff. Yeah, did That's you see the, the ring? Yeah, so. Did um, you see the boxing ring though? With no, the uh, Protect Your Neck logo? Oh, I haven't seen the it. the boxing so ring that, side? Yeah, we tell him, so tell him. about to connect y'all. All right, I got to tell him about that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> drop it on him. Drop All it right. on him. So, so uh, my man James from, from the money team, um, he said that he said, hey, Jimmy, I want you to meet these people. So he's always introduced me to people from the money team and all this. And, you know, so he introduced me to the specialty coach, Rafael Ramos. Everyone knows who he is in the boxing game. You know, he's been with the money team, training Floyd to training Lennox Lewis to training Tyson to all this, you know, doing all this from back in the days. Yeah. And um, they kept them hidden. Oh, okay. They use them for a specialty coach. You don't want everyone to know the secrets. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. That's right. That's right. Yeah, because I got one too. I got one too. He's a he's a we call him the great white hope, but we you know we don't reveal. Okay. So now, so now so now with him, what I did was um I believed in the guy after I talked to him and his wife, where they're like, Hey, you know, he never I'm all how come how come like no one knows about him? He goes, Well, because they keep him hidden. And he has all these pictures with all the great people and the rank and everything to trick. So, so now his coach, his coach was um, Mike Tyson's coach. And his, his coach was also Bruce Lee's last student. Oh, so he, put, he put, he put two things together. So boxing and Bruce Lee's uh, martial arts called the intellectual fist. Right. Oh. So that's the name of the gym. Um, so what we did was um, we, we're doing a life story about him and everything. So me and the guys from Probus, we bought him a gym in Vegas, five minutes away from the money team. So he could go over there and then work on his thing as a specialty coach. Oh, oh. Jimmy's making power yeah. moves. I'm saying. Oh, how do you have time for it all? Oh, and then, then on that, like on that, we put um, protect your neck athletics. You heard? Oh. Protect your neck athletics. Hey. That's right. Ready for the Olympics. <laughs> That was happening. Oh, Jimmy. That's Jimmy right there. That, that's Jimmy Ken. I can't keep up. That's Jimmy Ken. <laughs> yeah. Also, also um, June 7th. June 7th, we're doing a little kids camp in Las Vegas with the Sweatbox. We're, you know, Straight Up Entertainment is um, marketing for um, Sweatbox. Okay. And we're doing a little kids camp over there um, for the Sweatbox Vegas. thing. Um, yeah, that's the free event, oh, and right? And Jalen Rose is going to be there teaching the kids and everything, too. Jalen Rose will be up in the building. Yeah, Sweatbox is, um, Sweatbox is created by the ex-Milwaukee um, Bucks coach. Um, he, you know, made it for the thing. He's going to put his his mission is to put one in every state for the youth to put it oh, together. That's dope. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's dope. Is that the free event that I seen with the flyer that we reposted? Uh, the, no, no, that the little kids camp in Vegas sweat box is, is it, wait, what's, what color is the flyer? Okay, hold on one second. I'm going to go. Oh, is it the uh, block party? Uh, it's a block party event. Uh, the, block party, the block party is for um, just getting all the all the musicians together at this new building, um, Worcester Creative Hub. They're um, they're about to build a building for the city of Worcester where people that are art that that's um, do anything with music or art or their makers, we put them in there so they could all start working together as a whole. And okay. some people that wants a little shop, you can put them in there. You know, doing it for the city. So we're doing a block party in the parking lot over there. Capadonna is going to come down there to bless it. Big Nate's going to be over there to bless the mic. You know, um, and we got like 30 other people coming through, you know, so it's going to be, it's going to be dope. Buddha Monk's going to be there performing, you know, it's, it's yeah. going to be cool. Oh, that's hot. Now, what date is that again for the people? Uh, that's June 19th in Worcester, Mass, right in, right in downtown. Okay. Was there anything popping off in NorCal, the Bay Area? North Cal. Yeah, you gotta come up. Y'all gotta come up here, man. West Coast. Ooh. Yeah, you gotta come up to the Denver. North Cal. Sacramento, Oakland. Oakland. San Francisco. Okay. Yeah, Vallejo. 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 
Yeah, area. let's bring some that of that area. flavor, yeah. some of that straight up entertainment yeah. out here. That's yeah. right. We need to get yeah. shit popping out there because, you know, San Francisco, Sacramento and everything is uh, that independent world, just like Massachusetts, That's you know, Boston, insane. New England. Yeah, yeah we, need to get, we, need to get, we need to get you guys popping over That's there. That's right, we can yeah. break new ground, new yeah. ground. We up here politic and making the law. See, don't know what's going happen if, if you ain't up here in the capital. Uh, hey, know, Jimmy, so I like that shirt, man. Happen. I like yeah, that Jimmy Karen shirt. My man, my man Skins made it. He got his own brand, PBS. They're making it at Next Door, Makers thing. So he made this for me. Oh, no, look, look, look at the logo in the back. This logo on the back. Okay, you got the emblem in the back. Okay. Yeah, I see it. It's like official. It's bear. Yeah, that's bear that's box. the that's the um that's the brand for uh, GPA. Watch, I'm gonna show you some stuff real quick. Okay. Oh, dope. That getting first hand oh, exclusive right. watch. Live on your radio, so serious TV. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna take you on a little tour of that what I do every day. All right, okay. hold on. All right, right. it's going oh, down, y'all. <laughs> We following Jimmy. So we start from scratch. Look at, look at Big Nate sitting next to me working every day. Right there. PBS right there. Skins. That's in Capadonna's um, um, last album, like six tracks. Black is beautiful. Um, you know, he made this shirt. This is the squad over here. You know, we working. Okay. okay. Wings up. To Wings up. Wednesday. It's my Wednesday. Desk. Wednesday. Yeah, this is my best. That's what's up. In that fish tank. <laughs> <laughs> Are we eating those or it goes to goes straight to up water? entertainment? <laughs> the man. She's following Jimmy. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that's dope. Nice office space. That's oh, clothes. Oh, that's wow, that's a shop. Oh, man. We're coming up there. Oh, <laughs> look at all the clothes. Mm -hmm. You know, Bad I got my girl friends. over here running the store, putting up, putting Hello. everything together. Hey, <laughs> see her shopping. Oh, okay. She's, got the model in the building. Okay. Together and the guys thinks, you know, oh, making them look pretty. Summer okay. time stuff. Yeah. I see you know, we got the finals, you know, children and things. men. Yeah. We're right here outside. Okay. Downtown. Okay. Dope. Right nice here. buildings. Yeah, I see oh, it. Yeah, I see it. Exclusives. Exclusives. Music meets fashion. Oh, man, we went to the dope area. We got to go there now. You know, right now, this right now. We're building this right now. This is going to be a convenience store. Okay. That's what's Oh, up. that's dope. You got to go nowhere. Yeah, <laughs> One-stop shop. Pull, 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 pull. And we're getting the fridges right there all the way oh, around. Oh, that's what's this up. Is this is where the guys make their clothes. Wow. wow. So got the shop and everything. First hand. Yeah. Exclusive. Exclusive. Music Dang, meets I I fashion. What's up, Instagram? We, uh, we're going on a tour. Johnny. Jimmy Kane. Yeah, so this is what we're doing as a team. That's As a dope. unit, you know, we're putting things together. I got a nice team. We're, we're, we made all this ourselves in here as wow. a team. Wow. Yeah, y'all been Yeah, yeah, I appreciate it. Hands, yeah. they use their own hands. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Um, you appreciate it. That's dope. Expansion. Yeah, down, down. You, know, you can't replace it. It's yeah. right next door. It's handmade. So, you know, you can't put a cost on that. That's dope. That's dope. Dope. That's dope. And it looks like he's still walking. So I think he's going to hit another yeah. location that's he's, next to oh the shop goodness. as well. Wait, where is he? VA? Uh, he's in Boston. Boston. Yeah, oh, Boston, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Okay, okay. Massachusetts. Yeah, Inspect the Deck is up there. Big Nate All Star is up there. Mm -hmm. Boo the Monkey up there. They have a lot of cookouts and give a lot of free food out to the uh to the neighborhood yeah, as right. well. So. Oh, yeah, dope. We got yeah. to check it out. Well, uh, Joyner Lucas was there. Um, Two weeks ago, mm -hmm. when they had the barbecue, he stopped by, and they was on Facebook Live and, okay. and all that. So that was real big. Yeah, he always so. got some celebrities popping up. I know. He always wants yeah, a little chicken, a <laughs> little steak, <laughs> little strips, you know. Put it on the barbie. That's put it on the barbie. Yep. Yeah. You, you froze, Jimmy. I don't know where you went. Yeah, it's Jimmy. It's Jimmy Kane. 
We are live in the building. We are live in the building, live and direct. That right there was Jimmy Kang. Yeah, that's what's happening. Wu Tang Management, mm -hmm. straight up entertainment. Mm -hmm. Ooh, one on one cannabis. And all that's going on. Yeah. Incorporation with the and a lot of other mini hats too. A lot of hats, man. Yeah, hit Jimmy up. There he is. There go Jimmy. He's back. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> I'm gonna show you. Um, yeah, we got cut off. Hold on, I had to go get the keys. That's dope. There we get skins. Got the team. They working. It's Woo Wednesday. The grind it's don't Woo stop. Wednesday. And remember, Woo is for the children. Woo Tang is for the children. Yeah. Rest in peace, uh, ODB. Rest in peace, Pop Woo. Uh, rest in peace to all the soldiers. Yep. Yeah. This past Memorial Day, we're remembering all of y'all. Salute. Salute. All right. It we went through another, yeah, I had to go through another Wi Fi. So this is our studio oh, that we're gosh. building. Wow. Okay. Almost done. Yeah. Oh, look at the grand. Is it baby grand? Oh, I don't He got that. the baby grand. Oh, nice. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's, that's the Ivy's for real. Look at the nice. Oh, this is nice and spacious. I know, right? We're going to Boston. We're going to yeah, this is dope. <laughs> I, I, I see the soundproof booths. Yeah, that's dope. with multiple uh mirrors. Yeah, this will be this will be done by this weekend. This whole wow. Thing. Oh man. Oh, you're putting in work for real, yeah, for real. No stupid people. I no that. stupid people on the side. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Look at these youngest oh. oh. That's right dope. On real quick. Oh. That's Tommy. No. Tommy's one of our young producers. What's up, Tommy? We see you. Know what I mean? Whatever that. Hey, what's, what's good? good? What's good? What's happening? That's our studio right here. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah, now that's where y'all seen Keith Murray, Inspector Deck, mm -hmm. Big Nate All Star, Capadonna, mm -hmm. Roscoe, and Corrupt in the studio, Facebook oh, wait. Live. Go back to that logo. This is where they was Go at. Go back to the logo. Show the logo. Go back. Go back. Oh, okay. Okay. Let me go. Yeah, let's, let's show you what straight up entertainment. Get that straight up entertainment yeah. logo right there. Yeah. Work in process. There you go. Yeah. Straight up entertainment. Man. Like, share, follow, subscribe. Subscribe. It's Woo Wednesday. And we got Jimmy Kang. We got Jimmy Kang up in the building. Yeah, Wu Tang one. management. Yeah, Straight up it. entertainment. Mm -hmm. One on one cannabis. We got some stops to make this yeah. year, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A world tour. I know, right? Yeah. We gotta go to Boston. We gotta go to Staten Island. We gotta go to Vegas. A lot of good stuff is taking right place. Yeah. Yeah. And we're flying. Only South and, then, and then we got we got we got all the all the artists living up here. Wow. Okay, okay so that got the, the whole building. Rise. Yeah, we got the whole blizzard. That's, how you That's what's up. The whole block world. is on lockdown. That's how, That's how you build generational wealth. That's what it looks like. That's dope. That's yeah. right. I'm teaching. I'm so teaching all of them how to Jimmy, do that. Man, I'm kind of speechless over here right now, man. You 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 got so much stuff going on. Man, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, everywhere. Wow. We need three. These are all the new <laughs> summer gear that they're putting up. That's dope. That's so all the clothes that's in the exclusives are custom made. No, no, a lot of them are, but no. Okay. So you could get some of your favorite name brands that's out there and get some exclusive wear as well. Absolutely. The exclusive wear is custom made by the by our artists, by our uh, producers, and the fashion designers and stuff that puts their stuff in. But we have we have normal brands, you know, like Nike, Polo, and stuff like that. Oh, that's okay. dope. So if somebody wants an exclusive shirt or pants, how long does that take? Um, full custom, probably like a couple of days. Um, T-shirt like this. He made this thing in like right before the podcast. He's like, "Yo, Jimmy, I'm gonna make something oh, for you." Wow, oh, that's dope. Like five minutes. Oh, okay, that's dope. okay, okay. Yeah, y'all need to go to exclusive 
and go cop you 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, go buy something. Support them, man. Yeah, what's the website when they meet you? Yep. Got the website where they can reach if they want to order online? Yep, they could go to um they could go to um joinexclusives.com. Joinexclusives.com. Join J J O I N joinexclusives.com. Yeah. Awesome. Um we I want to end this um episode with a uh, honorable mention of Jimmy Kane, has been supporting my career for the last what seven, eight, maybe ten, ten years. Yeah, you've been you've years. been doing your thing thing. <laughs> <laughs> you said take this W and do your thing, so I said, "Hi, right, I got you." <laughs> I'm going to, um, I, but I really want to speak on the Stop Asian Hate movement because it's definitely my brother from another mother from way back, and we have never even met in person. 10 years right. and he supported me. So I just want you to touch on um, that subject real quick. And, you know, we are, we're definitely campaigning for Stop Asian Hates. All Lives Matter, says Solomon Child. Yeah, you know, but we definitely, the, the, yeah, we definitely. Truth, I, don't, I don't even know why they're doing that, but yeah, they're, they're attacking older, older Asian people and sucker punching them and stuff. Mm -hmm. But why don't they try to sucker punch a live Asian guy like me? That's they won't saying. do that. <laughs> they won't do the that. World, you know? I'll change their whole world around. Yeah, yeah. We are not our ancestors. No, no, I, and, and I don't understand why they're doing that. But honestly, like, I think it's probably started by, I think it probably started by the government to start getting everyone to hate on everyone. Because most of the Asians, they don't even bother nobody. They just do At business all. and keep it real. Yeah. So, That's facts. So yeah. we were always neutral. Like if you notice, there's always like black and white and Mexican and thing. And That's maybe right. they had black and Asian at one point, but that disappeared because everyone knows, you know, everyone came from West Africa, you know, Asiatic black man, you know, we, we all together. It's like, what That's are you talking right. about? We all were. You can't break us apart. That's right. A lot of y'all need to wake up from that matrix. Yeah. You know, that even in the true. even in the riots, even in the riots, you know, the government puts like bricks and stuff so they could throw it in things, you know, or like why would they put bricks in the middle of places just people could bash stuff with? So I, I feel like they do a lot of things to manipulate the system because they right now they're trying to divide and conquer. That's right. They Facts. are. Because you know, because, and then the other people are trying to make it like one world. We're all one. So what are you talking about? We're all yeah, the same. Yeah, we're all the same. Definitely. We all bleed red. That's right. If you don't, it's you're Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy Kane. <laughs> man, Jimmy, we ain't gonna hold you up, man. Yeah. We know you're a busy man. And thank you for stopping by the Live Wire Radio Show, man. And spreading you, your love and, and knowledge and all that good stuff. Definitely. For everyone else, catch me at, um, Jimmy Kang, Jimmy K A N G one on Instagram, on Facebook it's the Jimmy Kang, and www.straightupent.com. S T R number eight U P E N T dot com. Uh, ah, Y'all already know it's Jimmy it's and it's Woo Wednesday. It's DJ Loudwire, Ray Jackson, yeah. tell a friend, tell a friend, tap on in. Tap on in. This is what we did. That's right. <laughs> All right. You already buddy. know. Uh -huh. Yo, son if. Son, son, son. Yo, this elite. Yo, live wires. The live wires. Yeah. One, two, three, it